Hello everyone and welcome to Paracloud Gaming, I'm Watch Para OP, and today we are not playing Police Simulator, because I want to play a game called Wilhelm Gustav's Death. Uh, this was a ship in uh, World War II, let me pull up my notes here, uh, a ship in World War II that was sunk uh, January 30th, 1945, which was a uh, German, it was a German cruise ship, then it was a troop transport, um, and it just, it was, it did a lot of military stuff. Um, it had 10,600 people on board, and 9,400 people died, making it the largest loss of life in a single ship sinking in the industry. So, we are going to um, get on the ship today. Uh, from what I can see, it was hit on the, uh, where is it, where is it, I saw it, uh, three torpedoes, uh, were fired successfully and struck the Wilhelm on port side. The first struck the ship's bow, causing watertight doors to seal off, where off-duty crew were sleeping, so they didn't get any help. The second hit the accommodations for the women naval auxiliary. Located in the ship's drain swim. But the see that. And wow, only three women of the 373 women quartered there survived. The third torpedo scored a direct hit on the engine room uh, located midship, disabling all power and communications. Only nine lifeboats were lowered. Uh, the rest uh, their davits had frozen and were unable to be free. About 20 minutes after the torpedoes hit, the uh, Wilhelm uh, suddenly listed so dramatically to the port that the lifeboats lowered uh, on the starboard side crashed into the ship, destroying many lifeboats and spilling their occupants. Um, many of the deaths were either caused by the direct torpedo hit or drowning in the onrushing water. Most of fatalities were due to the initial stampede caused by panicked passengers. Many passengers jumped into the icy Baltic Sea. So this happened at Reward. Um Baltic Sea. Uh yeah, it was carrying um sets it up here. Uh, it was burying civilians and military personnel as part of Operation Hannibal. So, so that's what we're going to get into today. Uh, this is about a half hour, I think, play sinking experience. Um, this is the main sinking experience. It takes about 30 minutes. Bring it on. Everything I just told you is in the Baltic Sea after evacuating German refugees. And we're here. Alright, so this is the Wilhelm Gustav. I'm probably saying that wrong. Sorry. I... Um. So it was hit. I want to go on the left side. Let's go on the left side. Um, yeah, so 9,400 people died on this ship uh, during this accident. Um, and as we know, um, Last week, the uh, Titan um, submersible uh, imploded by the Titanic. Uh, oh, we can't show that on. Just walk away from that. Do do do. <laughs> um, the Titan submersible um, sank or imploded, uh, killing five people. Um, there's not a lot known. If you want. Um, some info about that. Go check out, um, 
Dally MD. Uh, he has a, a great video. He was actually there uh, probably a month or two before the accident happened. He was in the sub uh, for it. Torpedo uh, coming on the left side soon. Oh, I see it. I see it. Right there. Yep. There's one. So that uh, locked all the doors, uh, so there's no extra crew. This is going to hit the women's department, uh, women's compartment, and that exploded the engine. So the engine is now gone. And let's see if we can see anything. Anything? So, ship is now just, ship is already taking a left turn into the water. Wow. Um, boy, this thing really, really, really went left really quickly. Boom. So, at this point, everyone is at a mad rush to get off the ship. Um, they don't know what's going on. All they know is they heard three bangs. Uh, there's no extra crewmen because all the off-duty crew are trapped in the front when the water watertight doors are locked. Uh, that second explosion went into the women's com uh, compartment, uh, the auxiliary there, and uh, it killed all but three. Apparently, and uh, the third one took out communications and the engine. Uh, so, well, that's a bug. Uh, so at this point, uh, yeah, I'd want to be off this ship. So, yeah. All right, I don't want to jump yet. Um, my other, uh, I did two other ones. I did the sinking of the Titanic, uh, and I did the sinking of the Lusitania. Um, and they did pretty well. Um, my goal was to get a computer good enough that I can run, uh, I think it's called Honor and Glory. It's Project 401. It's a, a group that's uh, doing a Titanic complete uh, virtual restoration, if you will. Uh, it's, uh, they're pretty much going through all the blueprints uh, that White Star had. And they're remaking the ship virtually. So you can tour the ship. Um, at one point, I think you're going to be able to go through a sinking. Uh, wow. It's really loud. Um, so that should be cool. Um, my goal is to get a computer good enough to handle that. Because right now, my computer can barely handle Holy's Quest. One, from 1988. Um, alright, uh, are any of these boats going off soon? Because I might jump on one of these boats. Just, just saying. So, um, apparently, um, I'm not quite sure how people knew how it, it sank. Because it was, well, I'm sure a boat came by and saw a bunch of little boats in the water and was like, hey, shouldn't you be on a big boat? And I don't know, two together. 
but uh yeah there's no this is 1945 i think it was i have no idea why i'm yawning so much but um yeah this is uh this is not looking good can you let some boats up At this point, uh, um, it's freezing temperature. It's, uh, because they said the davits were frozen. All of these, uh, these things up here. So, um, I only got nine boats away. I have no idea what the temperature was, what the weather was like at this point. Um, I mean, like, the ship doesn't even have weapons on. I don't know why it was targeted. So, I don't know. We'll walk around as the ship continues to slowly, slowly go into the water. We'll eventually get one of the boats to go out. Make a chart. It looks like they had enough lifeboats. Because it was 10,400 people on board. Oh, that one lowered. Yeah, that one lowered. Alright. Okay. Alright. So we'll do... One. Two. -hoo -hoo. Three. Yeah. Uh-oh. Really is cold water. Me on the boat. Me on the boat. Me on the boat. Come uh, on, let me on the boat. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a better, uh, Better visual. Look, I turned on God mode. <laughs> anyway, um, Wilhelm Gustav. So they said that. Oh, both lowered over here. Both lowered over here. Why didn't no one tell me the boats were lowered on this side? I would have went. Super jump. Ah! Now we'll just watch it. We'll watch it from here. So this ship, um, I didn't get a exact time frame of how long it, it sink. But you know what? While we're waiting, I'll look it up. Uh, let's see. Sinking. Less than 40 minutes it took to sink. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Less than 40 minutes after being struck, she was laying on her side. Uh, she sank bow first ten minutes later. So, from first strike to sinking is 50 minutes. Um, this, this only says it's a half hour. So, 
and this seems like it's speeding it up a little bit. So, um, so in total. Twelve hundred fifty two people were rescued. The torpedo boat T thirty six rescued five hundred sixty four. Torpedo, torpedo boat Low. It's L O the two dots above it. W E Low. Rescued four hundred seventy two. The minesweeper M three eight seven rescued ninety eight. Minesweeper M three seven five rescued forty three. Minesweeper M341, rescue 37. The steamer Gottengen, Gottengen, rescue 28. And the torpedo rescue boat, what? Torpedo Fang Boot, TF19, rescue 7. Freight lighter Gottenland got 2. And the patrol boat. Or Bosun Boat. B1703 rescued one. The 13 survivors died later. All four captains survived sinking. But a naval inquiry was only initiated against Lieutenant Commander Zing. His degree of responsibility was never resolved, however, because of 1945 German. Look on the ship. Oh, she's going. She's she's really going. So apparently she's supposed to like roll on her side a lot, and then she's supposed to start sinking quick. So we'll wait for that. Um, They think that there might have been more people on the ship. Uh, oh, it says here they were struck by. Where they were. So the S-13 uh, submarine was a Soviet Navy sub. Uh, it sunk the Wilhelm Gustav in January 30, 1945. And then it also sank the General Steuben uh, February 10, 1945. Uh, it was decommissioned in 1954. Oh, stricken in uh, 1956. Oh, wow, this ship is going. Really going. Um, so, what I'm eventually going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do another Titanic. Um, I think I have another one. I think Titanic. But, uh, I'm going to do another Titanic. And then, um, uh, I just want to get all my, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's going. It's, it's, you can see it. Look, the windows are slowly going in the water. It's down. I'm surprised it still has lights at this point. The engine room was, was hit. There you go. Got. It. There you go. I can get back on the ship now. Yay! But um. Gonna do another Titanic. I want to get a lot of information for that. Ah, shit. And uh, 
Yep, there it goes. It's it's going right on its side. So I think it, it turns on its side and then it goes down like that. It says it goes within 10 minutes. So, uh... Yeah, so that ship is going down. Uh, the Gustav, uh... Uh, the wreckage was discovered in 1988, uh, and a porthole was salvaged, and it is on display in Damp, Germany, in a museum shop. This thing is quickly going to the bottom of the sea. Look at that. That's impressive. I can't show that. Ah, I can't show that. Um, what was that? Oh, that was all the lights are all out now. That's what it was. All the lights are out. So, oh. this, uh, this is impressive, though. This ship is big. Right in the sea. Um. Oh, in 2006, a bell was recovered from the wreck and used as a decoration in a Polish seafood restaurant. What? In 2006, a bell recovered from the wreck was subsequently used as a decoration in a Polish seafood restaurant when it was lent to a privately funded forces, forced paths exhibit. So you asked for the bell to be put in an exhibit, then you used it in a seafood place? So this is the uh, this is the end of the Wilhelm Gustav, as we know it. So as this continues to sink, um, wow! Just like when the lightning hits it, and you get like a whole quick flash, and the entire ship is just really, really. Look at that! It's gone. Goodbye. All right, some more facts. Um, it was the largest shipwreck on the Baltic Sea floor and attracted much interest from treasure hunters searching for the lost amber. You're looking for the amber room, but you find... You stop. But... So, that is the sinking of the Wilhelm Gustav uh, that claimed the lives of 9,400 um, This ain't real. This ain't real, bro. Look at that. Going right through the boat. Oopsies. So that was it. I'm gonna call it the end. So that was the uh, Wilhelm Gustav sinking. And uh, be safe, be civil, uh, and be learning about history. I do a lot of the times. Like to learn. Talk to you guys later. Bye.